All right, this lesson is for everybody who hates math, particularly if you hate algebra, even as simple as it is here. And there are people that hate math. They walk around all the time saying, I hate math. So here's what we're going to do. Rather than ask you to do algebra to rearrange this equation, let's look at a different method. Let's take this equation and we're going to use something called the magic triangle. And if you take the, the equation and put it in a triangle that has three sections in it, two on the bottom and one on the top, the equation will look like this. By the way, this works for any equation that has three variables like this. This says velocity is frequency times, and that vertical line right there is a multiplication line, frequency times wavelength. It says just what it says up here. Velocity equals frequency times wavelength. So we put it into the triangle down here. Velocity is frequency times wavelength. Like I said, this vertical line is multiplication. This horizontal line, just like in a fraction, is division. So here's what we can do. If we're looking for velocity, it's just velocity equals frequency times wavelength, or velocity equals frequency times wavelength. Well, if we're looking for the frequency and we have the velocity and we have the wavelength already in the equation, the frequency is equal to velocity divided by wavelength. So frequency equals velocity divided by wavelength. Frequency equals velocity, V, divided by wavelength, lambda. Now what if we want to solve for lambda, the wavelength? What if we know the velocity from the problem, it's given, and we know the frequency in the problem, it's given, but we want to find the wavelength. Well, wavelength is equal to velocity, V, divided by frequency, wavelength, is equal to velocity divided by frequency. So wavelength equals velocity divided by F frequency, just like that. So there's the three ways to use that equation, arranged three separate ways, and all we did was put it in a triangle, the magic triangle. So if you hate math, you can use that. It's okay. If you like algebra, set the problems up algebraically.